Well, I've let the tractor sit overnight and unfortunately it still won't turn over. The general consensus is that the cylinders are hydrolocked with oil or fuel. So I'm going to pull the uh, air filter assembly off to get access to the injectors and see if I can't uh, break the injectors loose and uh, relieve pressure. It might be easier to pull the glow plugs. I'm going to look into that. Oh yeah, definitely some oil in the cylinders. All right, so I've pulled all of the glow plugs out. Three of them had oil on them. In theory, I should be able to bump the starter and uh, make an oily mess. Um, I don't know what to try if this doesn't work. Yeah. Well, that was definitely the problem. I've got oil all over the place, including my camera. I'm gonna see if I can't turn it over by hand and uh, maybe not do it so violently. Oh, I got some on my face too, that's nice. Well, it looks like the number number one or the forward cylinder was completely full of oil. Uh, I got it turned over a couple times. There's a huge mess of motor oil in the engine compartment that I'm gonna clean up here. I wanna crank it a couple times, make sure it's good and empty and uh, put, the, uh, put the glow plugs back in and uh, hope for the best. All right, well, I've got the glow plugs back in and the wiring hooked up. I'm gonna put a wrench on everything I touch just to make sure that uh, I don't leave anything loose. I'll put the air box back on and probably spray it down with some degreaser and rinse it off uh, before I try and fire it up because there's oil everywhere. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna get this thing put back together. Let's see how it goes. Well, it's back together. I've washed off the uh, oil with any luck, it'll fire up and just smoke for a minute. Um, worst case scenario, I've bent the connecting rod in the in that first cylinder, I'm hoping that that's not the case. But uh, here goes nothing.
trying. Seat's wet. Well, I think I got lucky. Uh, that is something that was gonna bother me until the moment it was fixed. So I think I lucked out and uh, I definitely lucked out on the side of that hill. It's definitely a lesson learned. Um, another thing all I can say is uh, always wear your seatbelt. I mean, this thing, it went over in slow motion. It was, you know, kind of the last thing I was gonna do of the day. It could have been way worse, but uh, the seat belt and some luck uh, helped me out there. So I'm gonna put the hood back on and uh, get back to work. Before I go, I just want to say it one more time. I've been running heavy equipment for 28 years. Wear your seatbelt. It is so easy to put on a seatbelt. It's really hard to crawl out from under a tractor that just squished you to death. Thanks for watching.